uh, your impressions about the game, your comment about the game? Um, we turned the ball over way too many times. Um, we didn't execute our game plan at all. Somehow we were still in the game by four. You know, we only lost by four. Um, but we have to get better. Our execution has to get better. And our just playing above our from our neck up has to improve. You know, I think that's all you can say about that game out there. Talent-wise, size-wise, you know, speed, all of that, we have the advantage. And, and we, we let them outsmart us. And, and that's, I mean, to me, that's, that's where the game went, you know. Points off turnovers, they outscore us. They double us up. Fast break points, they, they outscored us 19-3. to three. I mean, points in the paint, 40-28. to 28, You know, it's just, it's really, it's the turnovers and, and, and leading to, to points for them is what, what did it. Coach, uh, less of practices, uh, I guess, also very important uh, looking to this game, yes? Less of, less of practices with full roster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've only had a couple practices with all the guys in town. You know, EJ Montgomery's only been here for, he's been here for 72 hours, really. Um, Ariel was just able to practice on Monday as well, so he's only had three practices. Um, <clears throat> you know, we're missing, we're really missing um, Jakubis. Um, I think he's a game changer for us. He allows us, you know, allows us to play way smarter. Um, but yes, I agree with you. The, the, the um, you know, I wish we had our roster together a little bit longer. Uh, it's only going to get better, in my opinion. But at the same time, you know, it's three in a row that we we really should have won. And at some point, we got to figure out a way to close them out. Uh, coach, do you agree that uh, experience uh, became the most important thing at the last minutes of the game? Looking uh, to your young <laughs> roster, to young players like Ariel Party and his turnovers, for example. Absolutely. We put Ariel in a bad situation there. Um, it was the, the guys, again, it goes to execution. I called a different play. They didn't run it. They put an 18-year-old in the post in a situation to get trapped. Um, So not saying he should have turned that ball over, but that wasn't the play. We didn't want him to have the ball in that situation. I wanted a mid pick and roll with Cedric and space the court so we can try and get, get down the paint, you know? Um, and, and again, to the original point, we just, we're not, we're not listening, we're not executing. We're just playing, you know, I hate to use the term, but it's street ball. We're just playing pickup basketball and that's not going to win in this league at all. Uh, coach, you are experienced enough uh, as a coach working with young players. Mm -hmm. In your experience, uh, how much time needs uh, Ariel Hukporti, Montgomery, Duke and other young players to show as good basketball as they can uh, play? I think all three of them are a little different. Um, I think Ariel's pretty close. I think he's pretty close. Um, you know, he's on a little bit of a, a minutes limit um, just till he gets his, his conditioning up. Um, with him, I think he's, you know, He's got a couple little things that he can figure out, and he's he'll be very um, he'll be a force. I mean, you saw little flashes of it out there today. Uh, with EJ, I'm just getting to know him, so I think his jump shot can, can improve a bit. Um, his ball handling probably he needs to be able to face up and play a little bit more on the perimeter. Um, but the timing, I mean, every guy's different, right? And then Duke, Duke's very talented. Imru, you know, he's really really talented. Um, again, it's the same as all these other guys. It's it's from here up. So I put him in there. And I told him before the game, he needs to understand this stuff. He didn't execute on defense. He didn't execute on offense. He came out the game. He, I, can't, I can't play you if you can't run, do what we're asking you to do. Uh, Julius Kazakauskas uh, became a hero uh, while your team, uh, while, while your opponents uh, were leading by 10. And mm -hmm. Julius Kazakauskas played a very good uh, minutes. Uh, being 196 centimeters, he's rebounding, offensive rebounds, uh, uh, taking, uh, I know, I think in very good quality. Could you compare him with, with maybe some players like Dennis Rodman or something like that? Yeah, I mean, look, he's, uh, yeah, more, I would even say more like a Charles Barkley without the athleticism, right? Like, he, yeah, he's 6'4", in, in, you know, if I was saying it in, in, um, in, in uh, whatever, yeah, 6'4". <laughs> so, um, To me, I mean, yeah, he changed the game. And I have to give my, my assistant coaches credit for that one. You know, started to get away from us. And they said to me, you know, probably put, put Kaz out there and, and calm everything down. And uh, I think that was, that really helped us. 
helped us get back in the game there. I mean, he was the, he's the leader for a reason. You know, he leads by example and he leads with his voice. So you're, you're lucky when you have a guy like that on the team. My colleague just said to my ear that you have an amazing socks today. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You yeah. can thank, uh, I believe these are from um, my mother-in-law. My, my wife's mom sent me these, so. <laughs> okay. And David, the last uh, thing. Uh, did you hear, uh, talking about your opponents, uh -huh. when uh, Zukiya boss, Thomas Pachesis, uh, was shouting to your opponent coach uh, something about the game plan and something like that, is it strange for you? Did you see something similar in your career? That he was yelling what our game plan was? No, no, no. Team, team boss of Zukiya yeah. was shouting to uh, Zukiya's head coach, Nikola Vasilev, about the game plan. Did you hear that? I didn't hear it, no. I did not hear it. Um, you talking about from across the court? Yeah, the I saw him yelling yeah. something, yes. yes. <laughs> I wasn't sure what it was, and I didn't know who he was. Um, <laughs> You know, I, <laughs> at that point, I was really just focused on what are we going to run, who are we going to play. Does Cedric need a sub? Does Kaza going to foul out? You know, so I saw it, and I didn't know who he was. But have I seen that? Sure. Go back and watch Mark Cuban when he first bought the Dallas Mavericks, and he was doing very similar stuff there, too. So, <laughs> Well, Coach, you should remember, this is Lithuanian Mark Cuban, Thomas yeah. Pachesis, okay. boss of Zukia. Hey, we, they, we had him in Germany, too, the guy who was the <laughs> owner of... Uh, of Bamberg was very, very, very vocal there as well. So every, every league's got one, I guess. Thank you, coach. <laughs> Thank you. First, I want to congratulate uh, to my players because today they were amazing. Uh, how they stay first like a team, how they, they, they play on defensive end, how they share the ball. Today we did, now I saw 21 assists, how we control turnovers. And yeah, I want to congratulate them to following game plan. And, and for us, this was important win because few games we sleep in the in the last quarter and yeah we, we should keep preparing now for the for the next games uh, how much Simas Yasaitis and Arturas Yomantas experience means for your team and uh, was it the main factor uh, to the victory at the last quarter yes I agree so be because uh, they are like like treasure for us you know and they're the most experienced uh, they help the guys on the court, they help the guys on the practices and just today today they show their class in offense and defense, how 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 they control the offense, the defense. Yeah, I have just the best for them. Uh, many times uh, the last quarter I heard uh, Thomas Pochesas uh, telling you and screaming you what uh, how how you need to play and uh, and uh, wasn't was it uh, uh, too hard to focus for you as a coach to the game, listening uh, team boss? What is he saying? I don't hear my name. I you didn't hear my name? No. But you talked with him <laughs> during the game. Uh, maybe we talk, but I don't hear my, my name. Yeah. Everybody understands can talk with everybody. So, yeah. Now it's empty gym. So. But you saw his emotion, right? I saw, everybody saw, so we play games, so everybody has emotions, so it's normal. But you didn't hear what is he saying? Yeah. Because it seems that he said how you need to play at the last quarter, no? I don't, I don't agree, I don't agree with you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.